Hello everyone, my name is Quadi and welcome to a guide that will teach you everything about the conservation of wildlife in Warframe. This video will feature every single open world up to the release of update named Nightwave Intermission 3 29.7.0, current date being the 4th of February 2021. If there will be any updates to the conservations and stuff like that, I will write them down in the description and a pinned comment just to spread as little misinformation as possible. The video will be divided in sections for better orientation. We will go over all three open worlds currently in Warframe, first starting with the Orvalis, then moving to the Plains of Eidolon, and for the end, Cambion Drift. But okay, let's start with the basics now. Conservation is an action in which you, the Tenno, captures an animal to preserve it from greedy grenier, corpus and infestation. At this point it is probably one of the quickest ways to reach your daily standing limit. Sometimes it will take you only 10 to 15 minutes to max out all of them, depending on your mastery rank, but sometimes it will take maybe 20 max. Every single open world has its conservationist. The first one at Fortuna on Venus, called The Business. By talking to him and browsing his wares, we can get two essential things for you if you want to start being a conservationist yourself. First one is the Trank Rifle. You can also get that at Necrolisk on Deimos, but more on that later. The Trank Rifle is basically a gun that puts animals to sleep. The second thing we need is an Echo Lure. If you are here for the first time, you can probably get only the Pauber one and maybe also a Mink, I am not sure. What I do know though is that the Echo Lures are infinite, so once you buy the Vermink Echo Lure, for example, once, you have it forever. You don't need to buy more than one. Okay, we have our Trank Rifle and our Echo Lures. Now, what we need to do is equip our Trank in our gear. Go to your arsenal under the third section on top, the circle shape, then go to the gear and choose a free space. Click it and equip the Trank. You do not need to equip the Echo Lures, they are equipped automatically with the Trank, so conserve your space as well. For real, with this we are actually set to go out into the Orvalis and search for the snowy Christmas critters. But I do want to go over something else. The business also sells something called pheromone synthesizers for each animal. Contrary to the Echo Lure, this one is not infinite, but it does help quite a lot. The main point of using these is to get the rare variants of the animal. There is three of each ranging in rarity and standing they give. I will show you how to use the pheromone synthesizer later, but now let's go outside and catch us some critters. Okay, we are outside. If we want to catch ourselves some critters, we first need to equip our trank from our gear. Now that we've done that, we need to hold the M button to open our map. This will show us some icons that resemble paws and these are the locations of the animals. So let's just go to one. When you come to the location you will see a piece of scat, which are the start to every animal search. By pressing X, footprints will appear on the ground so we just need to follow them. At some point you will find a call point for the animal. Now you need to equip your trank again and select the echo lure you need. You do that by pressing the 2 button. If you want to get the rarer kind of the animal, you can at this point also use the pheromone synthesizer by holding the 3 button, but that is not mandatory. Now we will call the animal. First you just hold the left mouse button and mimic the animal sound. The animal will call back in a moment. Okay, so the animal called back. We need to do that again now, call the animal and follow the area between the two white lines. Right after you call it, hide and equip your trank again by pressing 1. By aiming down sides you will be able to see an orange silhouette of the animal, so the only thing you need to do now is trank it. That's it. When it is tranked, go to it and press the X button and you're done. Every single animal behaves differently and may need multiple shots to fall asleep, if it is one of this same rarity. I will tell you everything as we go, but now let's start with the first one, Pauber. Pobbers are usually found in the groups of three. They are shy and will run away as soon as they see you or the corpus roaming around the area. Only one shot will do to put them to sleep. There is three different varieties, Sunny, Delicate, and subterranean. 
The next animal on the list is Verming, a fox-like creature that is always alone. One shot is enough to put them to sleep. The varieties are as follows, white-breasted, dusky-headed, and red-crested. The next animal is the one you really need to watch out for, Bolarola. This animal does only take one shot to put to sleep, but you do need to shoot it in its belly. Most of the time, Bolarola goes into a ball and then shows its belly, so you need to shoot it then. If you miss the belly, it won't fall asleep. The varieties of it are Spotted, Black Banded, and Thorny. The next animal is insanely ugly, a Horask. It is not only insanely ugly, but it also has very bad farts. While you look for it and follow the footprints, you need to watch out for its scat. It is toxic and may actually kill you if you step on it. Catching a Horask is also really hard. It will dig underground and at some point peek out to the surface with its head. That's the time to act. I suggest you to go somewhere high to make a successful shot. They only need one. The varieties of it are Dappled, Swimmer and Stormer. On top of mushrooms there are birds, flying around and being a nuisance to catch. These birds are Sawgoss. They most of the time reside on top of mushrooms, so be sure to look up. One shot is enough to catch them. The varieties of them are Flossy, Alpine Monitor, and Frog Mounted. The next animal is Stover. Stovers are always found in the caves and are extremely resilient to sleep. They need up to three shots to lay down. If they spot you, they will attack you and then escape. The varieties of them are Sentinel, Fuming Dax, and Fire Veined. The last animal on the list is a Kubrodon, a Venus counterpart of our Kubros. They same as Stovers are hard to catch, taking up to three shots to fall asleep. They will also try to kill you if they see you, so watch the hell out. The varieties of them are Brindle, Vallis, and Incarnadine. That is all the animals from the Orb Vallis. By capturing them, you will get loads of standing and also a ton of tags. One for a bad capture, two for a good one, and three for a perfect one. Double resource booster also works on them, so just double the amount we should get. The tags do not have any real good use, but you can buy floofs with them to decorate your orbiter. More about them at the end of the video. Now let's continue to the Plains of Eidolon and their conservation master, our boy Master Tessoni. He rocks a conch rock on his hand and is accompanied by a massive cavat. Tessoni, which I will refer to as Mr. T from this point forward, does not sell the Trank Rifle, but does sell Echolures and Pheromone Synthesizers for the animals on the planes. The conservation mechanics on the planes do work a bit differently than the Orvalis. Here most of the animals will actually spawn outside of the Echolure callings, which means you might actually see them roaming around the planes. For real, we do not have anything else to say about Mr. T here, so let's just go to the animals on the planes. First, we will go over the Echolure callings. First animal we have is a Quaka, a very ugly mouse if you ask me. It most of the time is accompanied by two other Quakas, but not always. One shot will put it to sleep. The varieties we have are Planes, Ashen and Ghost. They do drop Quaka Spines if killed, so yeah, a resource you can get. The next animal is a Kondrak. Kondraks will fly to the point of the call, so watch out for them when they drop down, just look up. One shot will make it crash. The varieties we have are Common, Rogue and Emperor. You can get Kondrak Feathers from them, so that is very good and they are easy to kill, so yeah. The next animal is a Mergu, a very freaking hard animal to catch. It flies into the call point and is very small. Watch the sky and you will find it sooner or later. One shot will make it crash. Varieties of Mergu are Coastal, Woodland and Splendid. 
The last animal we can catch on the plains are Vasca Cavats, vampire orchidies that will drink your blood and put holes in your soul with their piercing eyes. When you call them with the echo lure, they will just wander in. They are also highly hostile, so you better watch out. For real, they are not even afraid of the idol on terror list. The varieties we have are Ostia, Bao, and Nephil. Those are all four animal types on the plains, so you can either try to catch them by using echo lures, or you might try to catch them while they are roaming around. Let me show you something. This spot on the map next to the ocean is one of the best and easiest spots to find an abundance of animals. Just fly around with your arch ring and watch out for the orange silhouettes. Most of the time there will be a group of animals and if you are lucky, you can get half of your daily standing by pulling off a few good shots. At daytime you will find Kondrocks and Quaka, and at nighttime you will find Vaskakavats and Quaka. Sadly, there is no reliable way to find Mergus though, so Ecolurus it is. Okay, that's it for the Plains Critters, now let's go to our last place, Cambian Drift, the infested hellhole. Here at the Necrolisk, our master is the Sun. He once again sells all the Echo Lures and Pheromone Synthesizers, and also the Trank Rifle, if you skipped Fortuna for some reason. A very important aspect of this hunt is the time. Some species of the animal will only appear around Fass and some around Vome, the two worms that are always fighting. I will tell you the details you need. Cambian Drift has its share of infested animals, so let's take a look, first at those that need echo lures, and then the ones that don't. Vulpophilus are infested variety of Kavats. They also behave like them by just walking to the call point. Every species of Vulpophila needs to be tranked two or three times, so yeah, be swift. There is three kinds of Vulpophila, Sly at any time, Crescent during Vom, and Panzer during Fass. The second animal we have on the list are the Predacites, the Kubros of Deimos. Just like the Vulpophilas, they will just come to the call point, trank them two or three times depending on the variety and you will be okay. If they see you, they might attack you contrary to Vulpophilas. There is three kinds of them, Vizier at any time, Pharaoh during Fass and Medjay during Vom. The next one is Avikea, the Mergu of Deimos. They will fly above the call point and are quite hard to spot, just because of all the spores flying around. But don't worry, one shot with the trank will bring them down. Their varieties are Common, Anytime, Sporile, During Vom, and Visid, During Fass. The cutest of the animals from Deimos, if you ask me, are the Cryptolexis. They will normally come in groups and will attack you even though they are very small. One trank shot and it will put them down to sleep. The nice thing about these guys is that every variety appears at any time. The kinds of Cryptolexis are Burrowing, Septic, and Caustic. And the last animal we can call with the Echo Lure are the Undazoas, a mess to keep it short. <laughs> they will just walk into the call point and will scream at you if you are too close to them. Their screams are very scary but also quite soothing. One shot or two shots, depending on the variety, will put them to sleep. There is three different kinds of it. Umber, anytime. Vaporous, during Vom, And Howler, during Fass. Now let's take a look at the ones that are only found in the nature, Velocipods and Nexiferas. For these ones, the time does not matter at all, so you can get them all the time in any variety. The Velocipods are the big mosquitoes flying around the drift, which you can ride as a skateboard. They will most of the time spawn everywhere but the map boundaries and caves, so yeah, look for them in the middle. I suggest you to capture them while doing the bounties, but the bounty should be your first priority, don't be a dick to your team. If you want to trank them, one trank and it is done. There is three varieties of them, green, purple, and white. And the last animal, Nexifera, is a cave dweller. Most of the time you will see it smashing Cryptolexes into a pool of goo. To lure the Nexifera out, you need to run over the green pool and wait till Nexifera drops down. 
it will then slowly go up again and that's the time to shoot. Its weak spot is the top half of its body. The varieties of Nexifera are Viridian, Scarlet and Amethyst. That is it about the animals of the Cambion Drift, but there is some more tips I'm going to give you if you want to maximize your efficiency on Cambion Drift. Playing around the edge of the map is probably one of the best ways to find Predacites, Wolpophilus, Cryptolexis and Avicaeus. Just fly around and look with the Trank. Sometimes you will find an infested patrol and sometimes you will just find animals. Most of the time they will be in groups as well, which is great. A very important detail I shouldn't skip out on is the weakened stat on the Predacites and Wolpophilus. If the Predacite or the Wolpophila is damaged by an infested unit and is then captured, it will become weakened. This can be done by just putting the animal to sleep and then luring infested to it, which is, you know, very inhumane, but it does work. The weakened variety of the animal will give you the animal tags and the animal itself. You can then go back to the sun and turn this animal into your companion, similarly to a Kavat or a Kubro. I will leave a video in the upper right corner if you want to know how this is done. The animal tags from Cambion Drift animals are used as a currency with the sun. He exchanges them for sun tokens, which are actually quite nice to get. The other animal tags you get from the Plains of Eidolon and Orvalis are more or less useless, but you can't get flus from the Conservation Masters, which is always good. You can do that with the Cambion Drift animals as well. The floops are very nice looking and super cute, so I, the Great Quad, decided to do some more work and make a quick compilation, again, with every single floof in mind at the end of the video. I didn't make a video of this once before, so it's just a copy with some more floofs that were not in before, which means I just pretty much reused some content. <laughs> For the last few lines of mine, I will also share some tips with you. First is the daily standing farming. Animal conservation is one of the quickest ways to max your standing with the Syndicate. It takes me to reach my daily standing cap on both Orvalis and Plains of Eidolon together in 10 to 15 minutes, give or take a few minutes depending on some luck. And the last tip is using either Equinox or Evara to put the animals to sleep instead of the Trank Rifle. At first this may sound very cool, but it is not as easy as it may sound. The abilities that put animals to sleep only work at the quarter of their max efficiency. So if you have Evara modded for 20 seconds, animal will fall asleep for only 5 seconds. The effect if you put the animal to sleep again will be reduced even further. Also a very important tip are the tags and the double resource booster again. They are doubled so if you make a bad capture you will get 2, normal 4 and perfect 6. Floof army, let's go. Okay, for real now, this is it. This took me a very long time to make, so a like would be appreciated, or a dislike if you did not find this helpful. This helps me make more better videos in the future, so be sure to share and subscribe and have a nice day. But now, as I promised, the floofs.
That's it with the plushies, please like, comment, share and maybe even subscribe. A view is totally enough though, so yeah, if you want to support me more, subscribing and watching the videos is probably the best as you can do. Also making videos long like this one is terrible, even though I like it at the end. The, the ending is perfect. <laughs> but for real, that's it. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye guys.